Hey there, Diana Fire here, and uh, I get a lot of questions from especially other bearded performers asking how I do my beard makeup and how I do my upper lip drawn into my mustache. So I figured it was finally time to make a quick little video tutorial and walk you through my process. Uh, so I personally use the same foundation that I use on my face, Kryolan TV Paint Stick. Uh, I'm in the color NB1. Uh, and then I also have a TV white that I use for highlights. Uh, in the past, I've used cream white uh, or clown white cream makeup um, and used like a toothbrush to brush that in. Works a lot better if you have like a short beard, like less than an inch. I am way past that point right now. Um, also flash palettes that you can get on Amazon for like 20 bucks, little cream color palettes also come in handy if you want to do like different colors and stuff. But lately I've been going for sort of the neutral, making it the same color as my foundation. Um, so that's what I'm going to walk through today. So starting off with my foundation, I am just going to paint this in <coughs> following the grain of the hairs on my face. And then I want to start going against the grain and start getting closer to the root. And don't forget to get your mustache. <clears throat> All right. Now that I have my foundation applied. Now I'm going to use my TV white Krylon paint stick uh, to go ahead and put in highlights like I would as if this were reg my regular chin. And I like big proportions, so I'm doing this way bigger than just, you know, a regular naked-faced you know, chin highlight. And then I also have the highlight under my cut crease. So I like to put a little bit of white here, not too much, but just to make that line go into my sideburns there. All right, now we comb it out. Now you can see by combing it out, we've blended this highlight out a bit. So it's not just this big, stark white mark on your beard, you know, like my salt that's in my salt and pepper that I had before at the makeup. We're not trying to replicate that. <clears throat> uh, so now I need to start setting this. Um, if you want to do colors, things like that, this is a good time to do that. Um, sometimes I will put, you know, some, some contour color. Let's go ahead and add this. I'll just do my regular contour. Uh, sometimes I'll make it match my hair color. You know, if I'm wearing like all red wigs or something like that, uh, I may incorporate that color and have it blend into the sides here. I'm just going to use my normal uh, Ben Nye cream foundation contour shade here though. I'll just give it a little bit of definition like I would on my jawline. Not too much because we don't want to undo all of the lightning that we just did to our beard. Now I'm going to comb this in. So now you can see we've got some contouring on both sides as well. So now we need to set this. <clears throat> um, if I'm setting with colors, um, this is a great opportunity for something like Ben Nye Lumiere powders. Uh, those tend to work really well for me. They blend pretty well and they tend to be, you know, safe-ish to put around your, around your mouth. Um, but I'm going to start by setting the highlights. So I've got my, somewhere, my super white powder.
from the start by setting my chin highlight. And then a little bit on my sideburn highlight. Um, if I want to accentuate the contour, I may, you know, powder with some, some contour powder as well. Um, I don't want it to be too strong today. This is brunch that we're getting ready for, so I don't need my lines to be too harsh and, and too high contrast. But now I'm going to set with my regular setting powder. I use the Pretty Pink because I am very English and Irish, and so they don't really make foundation in my weird shade of translucent pink. Um, but this helps, you know, match things out. You might be more of like a, a fair or neutral set. You can see like everything I have is Ben Nye and Kryolan. Um, but try this with whatever foundations and powders you use. This is definitely the messy stage. Put a towel down if you uh, haven't already. I don't even want to show you the level of mess that I just created here, but uh, <clears throat> now we need to like shake this all out, get the powder really in there. This way your facial hair isn't going to be all like sticky and tacky. I mean, you might still look tacky. I, Lord knows I do, but it won't feel tacky. All right, Ooh. base of the beard is done. Now for the lips. So we're gonna start just like we normally would with our lips. I have been into, purple has been my lip color. Feel free to do whatever works for you, but the NYX Liquid Suede has been good for me. I like matte, especially when we're putting stuff in the mustache. Um, you know, anything other than matte isn't going to serve much of a purpose, if you ask me. This tube is almost empty, so... Gotta really work for it. Consider this like our primer. And this is only, this is just the beginning. We're gonna layer so much here. All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and line it as well. Just on the bottom, obviously. And there we go. So now when you have a mustache that covers your upper lip, obviously I don't need to worry about like painting the lip and lining it because when am I doing that in my performance? <clears throat> but we want to get this upper lip painted and overdrawn as well. So this is where my Ben Nye cream makeup and the Ben Nye Lumiere powder come in clutch. Is that what the kids say? I don't know. But first I need to create a little bit of a blank canvas here. You know, some queens will highlight like their Cupid's bow, etc. I use my uh, TV white TV paint stick. And I just kind of put a couple pulls on each side. To give me my highlighted canvas. Again, comb it out. And then I like to take a little brush with our super white.
and just set the upper part of this highlight that you made. Okay, I'm going to comb it out again with the wide end of the comb. And now we have some upper lip highlight. Now I'm going to get out my Ben Nye cream color in a purple very close to the uh, color of lipstick that I'm using. I'm going to start drawing my upper lip where I want it. All of my strokes are following the grain of my mustache. So we're going in the same direction as the hairs. Not bad. Getting things symmetrical and centered is forever a challenge. Things might look good here, then you gotta do the smile check. I always have a habit of this side goes up just a little bit higher. So it's good to check it while you're smiling, which doesn't make you look like a crazy person at all. And if you can't get it even, just get used to taking all of your pictures and everything from an angle. You'll notice almost none of my headshots are ever straight on. Strategic. Okay, so now that I have the cream makeup in where I want it, I got so much of that white on my bottom lip. Now, the Lumiere powder. Also in... I don't know what color this is, a dark purple, royal purple. She's a queen, honey. And again, we're just gonna set this in the same direction as our hairs. Be careful not to get too much on your brush, otherwise your fallout is gonna get caught in your beard. Do little sections at a time. Don't get overzealous. You can always spread the lips farther out. That sounds inappropriate. To make things even, you can't bring them back in very easily. Not in, not in the facial hair. Bad, smile check. Eh. All right, I think she's pretty good. So now, with the little bit that's left on our brush here, I'm just gonna blend out my bottom lip liner. And then I'm gonna take just the tiniest dab of my white. Put it on the center of that bottom lip. Pout it out. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my white powder. Tap the center, both the top and bottom. And again, touch it up. with the brush we were using on our upper lip. It just still has a little bit of powder on it. Blend that out. And there you go. You have an ombre lip stash. Try it out for yourself and I can't wait to see what you all come up with.